Hi, welcome back to my channel, Antoinette here. Um, a parcel has arrived from one of my pre-orders from many, many months ago. And it is from a shop that I came across on Instagram called Tarot by Peachy. Um, another one that is based in the UK. For those who are wanting decks from the UK that are a bit harder to get in, uh, and perhaps, um, I can't remember how much I paid for the a sister deck to the one that's in here which actually you can see they're poking out so it's the moon child it's the new moon child i cannot remember how much i paid for this one i think it may have been somewhere in the regions of 90 quid or maybe slightly more with the postage and everything and i didn't know companies in the uk were doing this and um i just wish some of those creators would make that more obvious that there will be a company in your country selling the item that you can buy it from and not pay out all that tax and stuff because it's a lot of money. Um, anyway, so Tarot by Peachy. Um, so hope you love this stunning deck. So it is www.tarotbypeachy.com. So it's a nice little thank you note. And we have some pink wrapping. Okay. Oh, these things are amazing. Um, for those who don't know what they are, they're just like foamy packaging, but they dissolve with water. So you can pop them into water and they'll just dissolve. And actually you can use that water then to feed the garden and it will just break down and then naturally disappear into the system of the earth. Let's take all that away. And look at this really cute um, tape. Let's take that box out of the way. So it has come plastic wrapped so I've come prepared today <laughs> kitchen knife right now I'm gonna put you on pause you don't need to see this right plastic is off sorry it takes it doesn't matter how I try and do it it always takes me a while to get there um so put the boxes side by side so you can have a little look this is um exceptionally darker in appearance and I've go around to see the base. So I know a few of the cards are changed in here. Otherwise, it's basically, I think the majority is the same as the original deck. It's an 81 deck. We have a guidebook in this one as well. So this one came with a guidebook and this one comes with a guidebook. Um, and naturally, you'd need that because of the different cards. So let's take it open. So we have different inside so this one says bloom in light bloom in shadow okay so I'm take those away otherwise they're basically the same size in all ways shapes and forms put that one the right way up I don't want to mess it up already take that one away actually let's bring it back so we have two sayings inside seek the unseen and you are the dance of light and shadow there we go so that's our boxes so we have a book bring you down a bit now so we have the books again they are the same size pretty much almost identical both called the moonchild tarot it's just we have different pictures different images Inside, where are we? Death. Death. Oh, they're basically the same page, so we're both on page 88. Text is slightly different in here. Whereas we have bold for astrological and gemstones, here we just have it in normal font. Scorpio, Rose, so that's the same information. Transformation birth, measurement, that's the same information. This looks the same, although it looks like it's slightly smaller in size for text. And the image isn't as bold as it is here in the original book. So that's, there is something slightly different there. You see how the text comes down further. Death, the ultimate dance with life. A cyclical path of no beginning. Cyclical path. 
a cyclical path of no beginning. Here we have a cyclical path which has no beginning and no true end. No true end, yes. This restorative force is woven throughout the very cells of our bodies in the sparks of supernova that birth and forge new stars and in the seeds of our thoughts for energy cannot be created or destroyed, only changed from one form into another. So slight wording change, which I guess is why the layout has changed slightly, uh, but the text is smaller. This is easier for me to see because I've got my glasses on. And then it looks like over here we've changed something over here. So we've got two paragraphs with the reverse, whereas here we have one paragraph. So something in there has changed. I'm not going to read it all out. I can't see the word paradigms in this text, but I can definitely see it here. Um, you may well be able to see it. I just can't spot it maybe because of the way it's been spaced and changed, but I cannot see the word paradigms jumping out at me. So it looks like we maybe have some rewording of text. And then we're on to the next card, Temperance. And again, slightly different, whereas we have some bold words to jump out at us. Um, we don't here. And we have the two paragraphs with the reverse meaning. I don't know which layout I prefer. I'm not sure what the um, difference is with the text, however. So I'm probably going to learn that over time. Right, so there's the books. Let's take a look at the deck. So the deck comes in plastic and it has this gorgeous purpley wrap. These are the backs. Aren't they fabulous? That's just so um, kind of luxurious feeling, isn't it? It is exactly the same card stock. I can confirm that from first touch here. So what I'll do is I'll just split the deck off a bit. So I've got such big piles because I have a feeling I'm going to have problems getting these cards out and about. So let's just uh, do that. And um, let's go. So this is obviously the new purple moon child. So this is the new one. And I've put this one in just for comparison so we can see instantly we have a mirror image of the full. So for people who are wanting to know how similar they are, um, I don't know if that makes any difference. And the colours are slightly, so this has like, you know, the blues and the brights and it looks a bit more twinkly, whereas this is far more muted. Um, less sparkly. Perhaps that's the point to it being the dark moon. No, it doesn't feel as thick actually. So I don't know if you can see that there, if it will show on camera. But the um, edges, that's actually, this is thicker, thicker cardstock. And I'm lying. This is rose petal. This one I always thought was rose petal because it always, I have problems shuffling it, but this is a different, this is a different rose petal. It is a very different feeling to this one. So we shall see. We'll see how we go. Magician is very different. And our high priestess has changed. Text has changed as well. Again, it's finer. Empress. I like this one. Or Emperor. I think I prefer this one. <laughs> the Hierophant is the same. But again, you can see with the colours muted. Our lovers. Chariot. Strength. They're both very beautiful um, strength cards. I guess because we're all based at night time with the moon here. Hermit. Mm. 
sorry if you can hear Max drinking his water. It doesn't matter where I go, even though I've shut the door, I can't hide from <laughs> So we have our Wheel of Fortune, again the same, but different colour palettes. So I suppose this is where the colour palette is going to change um, what you're thinking about the deck and what speaks to you really, isn't it? Hanged man. Death cards. Our temperance. Different cards. Um, don't know which one I prefer. That one, I think. Okay, so the devil's changed completely to dark veil. I think I prefer this one. Tower. That's a far less ethereal feel, doesn't it, with that colourway and the um, choppy waves, whereas here we have that kind of serene, magical water that feels like it's going to catch you, whereas here, who knows what you're landing in. The star. My moon is the same. I don't know why I expected this one to be different. And the sun, so we have a face in the sun. Judgment is different. Same person mirrored though. So I've got that. And the universe has a different aspect. So we're looking out onto um, that could be the full though, couldn't it? Enough kind of white robing. Hair colour looks almost similar. So that could be the fool completing their journey. And then I don't know if we have extra cards or where they are, where they're going to come up in this deck. So that's that part. So we were on to cups. So let's just get the cups in. Instantly we have a new card. Prefer that one. Three, yeah, uh, yeah, who doesn't like a cauldron? <laughs> so we have more winter scene here for the five. So a bit more cooler feeling with the feet, you know, with literally the feelings of the cups. sure it just feels even more pippish in meaning now than this one did to me talking of pips well, seven eight so sitting and making space nine Page is different. I don't know why I've pointed that out because actually quite a few of the cards are different, aren't they? So there is more change in the deck than I think I, even I was expecting. That's a nice image. I like that image. We have a sword in the hand as well. Head and heart. And of course, we have a sword there as well. For the knight. Our queens, so we're mirrored. And our kings are the same and mirrored. Next up, we have swords. Let me just grab the swords. I prefer the colour saturation on this one, but I'm glad it's the same card because it is a beautiful card. And again, it's mirrored. There's our two. Oh, 
we've just lost the sunshine. So I'm sorry if the colour has changed. Um, three. It's a very beautiful three, this. I like the um, abstractness of this, but I think this is actually a piece of art somewhere. I've seen somebody create this, and I don't know if it's just that they've created it or if it is an actual piece of art that exists somewhere in the world. And what also fascinates me about this three of swords is this sword comes in here, and yet the blade comes out here, so it's not straight, it's bent. Here's our four. Five. They've removed the skull. I'm not sure what we sat in flower wise. Six. Furthest one, I like that very much. I think you could probably, if you're not worried about the backs, you probably could mix and match, mix and match these decks. So we've kept the seven. I enjoy this colorway version of it, definitely. Let's see, I'm struggling to get these up. Here's our nine. I like the lighting here that's coming up from the ground and sort of illuminating upwards. Ten. So it's like the pathway's ended to me. That's how that feels. Pathways ended. You can't come this way because all sorts of blocking and going that way. So you're going to have to find another way now because this one is no longer viable. The page. Knight. Queen. She's got roses on her shoulder in this one to show a softness. And the king. Okay. Let me move into the pentacles. So I'll just bring the rest of the deck in here. So I know it's going to be these. Right. So we're missing the kind of eye image in there. Hard. No, it's not, is it? This isn't a mirrored image. This one's not mirrored. Here's our two of pentacles. So we've got two people there with balance. We've kept this one, made it a bit more ornate. We've got extra symbols in the gold discs. Four. Yeah, this colourway works better. Five. I like that actually. Six. Mm -hmm. Six of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Don't know, don't really have much sway on either of those. Here's our seven. Um, I suppose it depends what you see the person in the boat doing here, doesn't it? Are they out there making intention? I mean, she's praying, so she's creating intention, isn't she? Um, so she's putting some work in for something. I mean, equally, they could be out um, moon fishing, casting the net wide. It just depends how you see that one. Here's our eight. Uh, so you can see it's kind of like the work stacking up to create an end result. Um, whereas this one's more like a pathway. Nine. Mirrored image, back to the mirrored images. And ten. Yeah, again, I'm enjoying the kind of extra lighting that's been added to the bottom with a touch of mystery and cloud mist rising up. Page, brand new card. But we've kept the moon and we have the 
illumination rising behind it, or perhaps that's the sun, maybe that's the sun with the moon coming out behind it. Um, but we have a very white, I think that's a boat. It looks like she's pulling a boat in. Hard to tell actually, because we can see her outfit, but I don't think that's all just drapery. Personal opinion. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. This one's my favourite. This is the colours. Here's our queen. Yeah, further away the colours have come out on that one. King. Yeah. Okay. We're on to the wands. What are you thinking so far? So this is a mirrored image. Or two. Three. Four of wands. So one, two, three, four. So they're hidden there. One, two, three, four there. But we have the two people joining, whereas here it's... So yeah, so this card is definitely having a more pippish styling for me. Five. Ooh, that's a big cloud. Storm Anthony's just brought across. Five of Wands. Now six. I don't think I have preference on either. Seven. Mm, no, again, I don't think a preference either. Eight. I suppose if I was going to do a pip star reading, this one. Nine. Maybe this one makes more sense to me than this one. I'm gonna have to read the book, see what they say. Ten. I have all the stars and things kind of shining down. We have our page. Sort of sitting in the power there, aren't we? Learning to sit in the power. Night. I actually like this one. Okay. Right. So, Divine Wisdom. The Moon Child cards are different. It's more underwater. And the shadow work cards are very different as well. Okay, so if I didn't mention, these are Daniel Noel, aren't they? Yeah, written and illustrated by Daniel Noel. Um, definitely forgot to give her a shout out at the start. Let's just take a quick look at the thickness of these. There shouldn't be too much difference, but let's look. The cards feel thinner, they look slightly thinner, like a fraction, although when you stack the deck up, this deck's actually is it thicker. It is. How weird. Possibly the um, coating is thicker by maybe three cards, two cards. Two cards in stack. I'm definitely not going to be able to shuffle this. These are big. <laughs> I've always struggled shuffling these. So I got the first deck because um, I just loved the way the deck was put together, the images. There you go, look. I 
always struggle with these decks. Um, yeah, because of the images, just beautiful. The whole deck, the aesthetic, the feel, the colours. It was just so... Um, nice. The vibe of it was just so nice. Um, and that was why I bought the original one. I struggle to use it, however, as an actual reading deck, I have to say. Um, I've tried a few times and, some, like I said, some of the images, my, body, my brain, mind, just does not understand, link, connect to. Um, and then I literally just go to the bottom of the card that says whatever it is. And I'm like, OK, so that means in my head. Um, and then that's my reading for the card. So it's almost more cold reading to the card rather than connecting to the cards. And um, when I saw this one come out, it looked a bit better. Some of the images felt like they made more sense. But of course, you don't get to see the whole deck. Now that I've got the whole deck in hand, I think more of the images make sense than the other deck. But um, it may just be another one that I have because it is just a beautiful deck and it probably makes me smile. And when I want to take a long time reading, then this may be the deck that I pull out. I don't think I'm going to use it specifically for the Dark Moon readings, which is, um, you know, possibly what the deck has been created for. So we've got a card has fallen out here. So we have the Knight of Swords. So let's just double check the book, see what's going on in there. And um, the edges are colour coded. So there's a very sort of pastel colour coding down there. Um, for people who aren't aware. So our Knight of Swords, we have um, the Honest, Critical, Impulsive, Ambitious, Self-Determined Knight of Swords. Um, he is standing on the edge of a mysterious portal into an unknown realm built within our lunar temple on either side of this doorway rests the form of the ancient sky god Horus who contains the power of the sun and the moon at the top of the entry shines a powerful solar eclipse marking a rapid acceleration of mental illumination and growth so we've got a bit about the you know what's happening in the card when you're inquiring with this card, you can ask yourself, how can I sustain this acceleration of energy and how can I refine my plans to assist my direction? A powerful affirmation with this would be, I am powerful and articulate. So insertive, enthusiastic individual, highly intelligent, attuned to their goals, the Knight of Swords reviews the world around them as a playground of opportunities and sets high standards for their life working to the brink of their potential and endurance. This may appear intimidating to others as not many people can live up to the high level of intensity or demand. They may appear antisocial, curt or abrasive at times, paying no attention to criticism from, from others, often demonstrating a lack of foresight, but great determination in achieving what they want. The key encourages us to have faith in our dreams and to enforce our inner confidence at every corner and turn. We are powerful, unique and brilliant in our own right. So there's our Knight of Swords. And of course, you'd layer onto that your information about communication, learning, doing, um, you know, going out and being academic in the world and probably learning by mistakes, to be honest, because you're following your entire brainwave here, aren't you? You're not really going by your heart head. This is head over heart kind of um, intuition here. So somebody who's um, stepping out on a new academic journey and looking to learn. I just thought before I do anything else, I should see if there's anything to this. So the introduction to the actual deck, this beautiful deck, is, it's nearing midnight. The hovering mist of the forest floor gives our feet gentle floating sensation. Together we glide as one in the silvery trail, basking in the approaching cloak of night. I follow our single file procession following movements and bobbing lanterns leading the way towards the crest of the hill as we approach our moonlit sanctuary. Tonight marks the apex of the solstice under her light as we reach the top of the clearing. The familiar buzz of night shifts into a warming hum of electricity throughout the surrounding grove, amplifying our feet with the mysterious rush of euphoria as we meet our resting place. The moon is full, closer than usual, and I can see the peaks and valleys of her mountains tracing the outlines of strange world on her hazy train. 
there is a powerful force emanating from her light, one that demands your full attention. As someone who spends most of her time dreaming and imagining what life would have been like many years ago, maybe even living as a wild crafting witch in these very woods. Our gathered circle triggers a deep remembrance of vivid sensations that seem all too familiar. There is no way to fully describe it. And then it says, um, there's a little note there that says this must be it. Welcome. The moon child tarot has been crafted. Yep. Yeah. So it's just the moon child. Nothing here about the dark moon child. I can't see anything else there. Just a kind of forward from Danielle. Let the water settle you and see the moon and the stars mirrored in your own being from Rumi. We have a lunar history, clarity in the divine, the goddess, Hecate, history of tarot. Um, I'm genuinely not seeing anything in particular about the creation of this deck. That doesn't mean it's not in here, sorry. You can't see what I'm flicking through. I'm just literally flicking through to see where we're at, but I can't see anything. I think it might be just on the website that explains where the darkness of this card has come from. And there are some spreads in the back. The Unwavering Love, Triple Goddess, the Chalice, the Luna, the Isis. I think these are in the other deck. Spiral, Shadow, one card, three cards. Yeah. Yeah, they're in here. Look, spiral, shadow, Isis, Luna, Chalice, Triple, with thank yous. Come back down here. Whoops, information on Hecate. So maybe there's a bit more information actually in the Luna history. So the start of the book is slightly different. I feel like there's a lot more information and moon phases in the um, new book. So that's the same introduction. Yeah, there is then. So there's more information at the start. So this isn't in. We've got quite a bit of information that's different at the start of the book, although the book's are the same size. So that must be where the fonts, no, I still can't work it out. Uh, if you're still watching, thanks for hanging on um, as I'm doing this so eloquently. Excuse my stomach, I haven't had breakfast yet. So we have the magic and I know that's in the other one. Magic is all I can say. It's magic. She's got it all in there and it's completely magic. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed for the most part the comparison of two decks. So you can see for those of you who were on the fence and didn't know what the difference was going to be. I hope that gives you um, something to help you about selecting your purchases um, and whether you, know, you still want one or two decks. So take care. I will see you in the next one. Bye.